Hey everybody, this video brings me and Sean out to Valley Forge National Historical Park once again because um, I've been on a little bit of a kick. I, you guys know me, I get on these, these kicks where I, I go out and I see something and I think to myself, I wonder if there's more of those things out there. And after going to see the, um, the haunted grave out in, uh, haunted grave of Rosie, out in uh, Reading, Pennsylvania, I thought, man, I wanna find some more urban legends, maybe some more ghost stories, things like that. So we were out, actually out here at the Valley Forge area, and I quickly Googled, are there any Valley Forge urban legends? And yes, there kind of sort of are. And I wanna take a look at one of them that actually sits right over here on this hill. We're actually here parked in the parking lot of the Washington Memorial Chapel, where as you can see, there's actually a funeral currently going on. This is awesome right here. I can't believe this actually still is here. This little uh, sort of shack, if you will. You can see there's chicken wire up there. When I was a kid, there used to be like a, a covered wagon, like a Conestoga covered wagon that sat in here. There was a little plaque that told you all about it. And that has been um, gone for a very, very long time. But the actual little shack, for some reason, still sits here just sort of rotting away. Surprised this has never actually been torn down. As you can see, you can kind of go inside there. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, kids all throughout the year run inside this thing and it looks kind of sort of sketchy and dangerous. Why it's still there, I don't know. But anyway, we're not here to talk about what used to what used to be here. That's not the urban legend. That is a definite 100% actual true story. Used to be a covered wagon sitting in there. The reason why, again, we're out here today is to actually walk across the street, walk across some 23 right there and take a look at something that sits down on the bottom of that hill. All right, so we did just cross Route 23 again, right across from the Washington Memorial Chapel. And it said, the urban legend goes that right down here on this hill was a grave that was found. A grave, apparently among other unmarked graves, or so the urban legend goes. There was a tombstone found, or a little stone found with a JW on it. And it said that JW does stand for John Waterman. That's apparently the soldier who died here in Valley Forge and was buried down here at the bottom of this hill or on this hill right here. However, with that being said, there really wouldn't have been anybody buried here in Valley Forge. No soldiers actually buried in Valley Forge. And there haven't actually been any human remains exhumed and found here at Valley Forge. So any graves, any unmarked graves, any unmarked soldier graves, it's actually taking you to see the graves of some unknown soldiers here in Valley Forge. Apparently any single grave or supposed body that was actually buried here in Valley Forge is just a bit of a legend. It hasn't actually been proven. No actual bodies have been found here in Valley Forge. And that's for a good reason. This was the encampment. This is where George Washington and his men were camped in the winter of 1777, 1778. They would not have been burying people here. If anybody died, which a lot of people did die at Valley Forge, there was never a battle here. It was just an encampment, but disease ran rampant. There was starvation. There was freezing from the elements. Again, disease was, was a big, big cause of deaths here in Valley Forge. There were people who were wounded from previous battles who were dying. So a lot of people did die at Valley Forge or because of Valley Forge, but those people were actually sent off to other areas outside of the encampment to be buried, or they were sent to hospitals outside of the encampment and they were buried there. So not many people would have been buried here actually in the park or in the, the encampment. It wasn't the park at the time, at the actual, in the actual encampment of Valley Forge. People probably would not have been buried here. Not really a good place to be burying your dead where you're you're camping. It doesn't really make sense. And like I said, no actual bodies have supposedly ever actually been found here in Valley Forge. No remains have ever been exhumed. But rumor has it that right down here on this hill was the grave of John Waterman or suppose, supposedly that's what the that's what the urban legend says. Now where the actual grave was, we do not know because for some bizarre strange reason, the uh, the headstone was at one point removed. So apparently the daughters of the American Revolution actually did some research and came to find out that this grave, the, the JW did stand for again, John Waterman from Rhode Island who died April 23rd, 1778. I don't know where they got this information from or, or how they actually knew this, but that's what they determined. And supposedly that is who the actual grave was for, for John Waterman of Rhode Island who died April 23rd, 1778 here in Valley Forge. And there actually used to be a little marker that would tell you about that. This was actually called the Waterman Monument. This monument right here was at one point called the Waterman Monument. It's not called that anymore. It's not referred to that anymore. This monument here actually stands for all the people 
here at Valley Forge who did pass away. But again, at one point, there was a, a market here calling this the Waterman Monument due to the JW, the John Waterman grave that was found here in Valley Forge. But again, was the actual grave of John Waterman? Was it even a grave at all? Was anybody actually buried here on this hill? We don't know. We could possibly be walking on top of graves right now, but again, probably most likely not. There are stories of actual bones being found over time, hillsides and whatnot kind of get weathered away, weathered away and bones end up sticking out. However, some of those bones apparently may not have actually been from, from human remains. Apparently they, they did bury the, the carcasses and whatnot of animals that were, were killed here at Valley Forge to provide food and whatnot. So some of those bones supposedly that may have been found, bones that may have been sticking out of the ground, I guess they weren't actually um, identified 100% as human remains. They just kind of assumed they were. But from what I was reading, apparently those remains that were found a long time ago could have actually just been from, from animals. So what I want to know is where the actual um, headstone for John Waterman now resides. If anybody actually knows that answer, leave a comment down below. Again, what I was reading said that the um, the actual headstone had been removed. It's no longer here on the side of the hill. Probably, I guess, maybe done because they were worried about it being defaced or removed or somebody stealing it or something like that. I have no idea why. Again, why you re would remove a headstone, if it, if it even was a headstone, why you would remove that, I have no idea. But supposedly... Again, it was removed. So where that actual headstone resides today, I don't know. If you guys know the answer to that, leave a comment down below. I could not find any information on where that headstone sits today. Probably, I don't know, in some archives or something here at Valley Forge. I'm not entirely sure, but here is the monument, the Waterman Monument. And at one point, right down here, there was a little plaque stating and calling this the Waterman Monument with information about him and his death and where he was from. But now, as you can see, the monument does say, to the soldiers of Washington's army who sleep in Valley Forge, 1777, 1778, erected by the Daughters of the Revolution, 1901. So this monument is actually here to pay respect to all the men who passed away and who are supposedly, again, supposedly buried here, to the soldiers of Washington's army who sleep in Valley Forge. So essentially, if there are any soldiers who are buried here, which there again, there may or may not be. They don't actually know. No human remains have ever been found here in Valley Forge, but it is a possibility that some people were indeed buried here. It just hasn't actually been proven or disproven yet. So the Daughters of the Revolution in 1901 erected this in memory of John Waterman, but also in memory of all the men who did die here during the encampment of 1777, 1778, and who are possibly maybe somewhere out here, maybe even on this very hill we're standing on right now, buried out here. Also, what I want to know is why um, this marker is actually off limits. It's been like this for a couple of years now. If anybody knows why that is the case, leave comments down below. You can see it's all, uh, it's all roped off. You can't actually walk down this little pathway right here. It's all, it's all chained off the signs that say, um, area closed, all National Park Service area, beyond this point, closed to public use and travel because of emergency conditions. I'm not entirely sure what that means. I don't know if the, um, I don't know if the walkway is just unstable or what, or maybe it's the actual monument. Maybe the monument itself is not, is not safe. Maybe it's about to topple over or something. I have no idea. Again, if you guys know, leave your comments down below. It's been like this for, I'm thinking a couple of years now, if I'm not mistaken, why they haven't actually done anything to fix this issue, why they haven't fixed the, I don't know, the walkway or the monument or whatever, I, I don't know. In fact, I'm not entirely sure that we're actually allowed to be even walking down here. For not, I do apologize for that. National Park Service, if you're watching, I apologize that we walked down here, but we did stay off the path that was closed off. What do you, what do you find in there? Ooh, is that soft ground? Mm -hmm. Could, oh, it is soft. Could that be the final resting place of, maybe that's where John Waterman was buried or another soldier maybe right did sean just find the grave of an unmarked soldier comments down below so the reason why it's actually said that other men are possibly buried here is because during the 1930s there was this sort of a very morbid craze of finding and locating graves and just history of the dead and history of of valley forge and things like that so apparently in the 1930s they supposedly found other graves here on this hillside or around this area, but um, further research indicates that the 
that the research that was done in the 1930s was, I guess, kind of shoddy, and there wasn't actually any like definitive information showing that there were actual bodies found here. Research that was done later on apparently showed that um, that the research done in the 30s was, was not great research, and uh, there wasn't anything ever to 100% indicate that there were actually bodies found here. And it was in 1939 that the actual headstone of John Waterman was moved. So I don't know what was with the um, the 1930s and why they were so fascinated with the dead and apparently moving headstones. I have no idea. But again, I would really like to find that actual headstone. So like I said, if you know where the actual headstone of John Waterman resides today, please let me know and we'll actually go out and we'll see that. I'll document that because I do want to check that out. I do want to see that. But again, that is why it's actually said that there are other men buried here on this hillside and possibly all throughout Valley Forge, all because of morbid curiosity with the dead and finding graves, but apparently it wasn't very good research and uh, it, was, it was shoddy and apparently there might not actually be anybody buried here at all. Wait a minute, hold on. Forget the morbid curiosity of the 1930s and their, uh, their, their curiosity with the dead because it's now 2023 and Sean's got a uh, curiosity of himself. He's freaking out over here because of a ladybug. Oh my gosh, it's actually crawling up your foot. Look at that. There's a ladybug crawling on Sean. I think it's actually good luck. Am I right? Comments down below. I but if a lady, I th it has to crawl on your finger. Okay, comments down below. If a ladybug crawls on you at all, is it good luck, or does it have to crawl just on your finger? I don't know what the actual um, again urban legend of uh, of ladybugs are, but leave your comments down below. Either way, though, Sean Sean's made a new friend. Look at that. Pretty awesome. We came out here to find the dead, and we found a ladybug. Ooh, maybe it's the uh, it's the actual spirit of John Waterman come back in the form of a ladybug, right? Like Moana. I mean, <laughs> like Moana. Yeah. There you go. So before we finish up here at Valley Forge, I do want to talk about one other little bit of urban legend history that supposedly happens right here on this hillside, apparently because of the actual men who are supposedly, maybe possibly buried here on the hillside. And the urban legend goes that if you're over there on the other side of this valley, up there on the hill on a dark, gloomy, foggy night, and you look out over the valley at this hillside, you will actually see the glow of Revolutionary War soldiers' campfires. There would not be anybody out here camping. There would not be anybody out here starting fires on this hillside. So if you do happen to be over there someday and you look out across the valley and you do see the glow of campfires on this hillside, apparently they're ghostly campfires from the men of the Revolutionary War who did pass away here and who might actually be buried here on this hillside that we're walking on right now. Pretty crazy story. In fact, um, I'm gonna have to do that one night. I'm gonna find a nice, gloomy, dark, foggy night, and I'm gonna go to the other side of the park, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look out over, over this, um, this valley. If I, see, if I see fires glowing in the distance, that'll be amazing, and also sort of a little, little terrifying. All right, guys, so that's going to do it from Valley Forge here at the Waterman Monument, or at least what was once known as the Waterman Monument, now dedicated to the soldiers of Washington's army who sleep in Valley Forge, to all the men who may or may not be buried here in the Valley Forge National Historical Park. Because again, no actual human remains have ever been exhumed, have ever actually been found here within the park, but urban legend goes there may actually be the bodies of Revolutionary War soldiers buried within the park and possibly right here below our feet on this hill. So, all right guys, pretty crazy urban legend. If you guys know anything more about this urban legend, by all means, leave a comment down below. Again, if you actually know where the Waterman gravestone, the headstone actually resides today, please definitely let me know. I would love to see that headstone and get it documented and show it to you guys. But for now, that is going to do it again from Valley Forge, the Valley Forge National Historical Park. The actual church bells going off in the distance for the funeral. Very, very fitting for today's topic. All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. So as always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do go to help supporting the show, keeping the show going, bringing us out to interesting places like Valley Forge and checking out urban legends like the legend of John Waterman, who may or may not be buried here alongside other Revolutionary War 
soldiers. You guys leave comments down below. What do you think about that? So, all right, if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, what should today's hashtag be? Ghosts. Ooh, hashtag ghosts. If you watch this video all the way until the very end. So, all right, guys, again, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Bye.